Well, it's nice to be back in Sydney. Um, I'd like to thank the Brain Foundation, the donors and sponsors uh, for these awards, which in our case will provide essential support that we need to further our work on determining ways to control blood flow in the brain after stroke. Our work is done with colleagues at the University of the Sunshine Coast, where I've recently moved to, and it's, it's much nicer than you think, a and the University of New South Wales, where I spent uh, many years uh, working. We uh, work with uh, the New South Wales Brain Bank and clinicians at, uh, from New South Wales and Queensland Health, in particular from Prince of Wales and Nambour Hospitals. So um, just to summarise what we're doing, um, arteries supply blood to the body and defects in their function underlie vascular disease. Uh, our lab at New in uh, Sydney at UNSW and more recently in Queensland has been determining differences in artery function in health and disease for the last uh, 10 years or so. The main aim of our work um, that is supported by the Brain Foundation is to identify ways to control blood flow after stroke our recent work on animal models of stroke, and this model was um, developed by Dr Nicole Jones, who's here today, uh, and in humans shows that there is a communication pathway in these arteries of the brain that is only present after stroke and hypoxia or a lack of oxygen. So for the brain to remain healthy, uh, blood vessels in the brain need to supply with oxygen and nutrients and remove waste products. In stroke, these blood vessels of the brain become blocked or burst, which results in a lack of nutrient supply and waste product removal, and thus damaged to the brain tissue. Uh, in the case of damage caused by blocked blood vessels, uh, re-establishing flow to the brain is uh, one way to potentially improve the detrimental effects of brain injury and stroke. So in our case, uh, we're working on trying to characterise differences in, in how these blood vessels work in disease compared to healthy. So in healthy blood vessels, specific cells that line the blood vessels produce chemicals that dilate or constrict um, blood flow, and they in turn control how blood flow is supplied to the brain. The release of these chemicals occurs in a balance and depends on the presence of specific chemical release sites or channels on each of the cell types in the artery wall. And when the balance of these things is altered, um, that results in vascular disease. So in, in Nicole's model of uh, acute stroke, um, where blood flow is blocked, we have found that the innermost cells that lie in the blood vessel wall have, have a channel present that is not normally present in these cells. Our initial studies from humans, that is humans that have um, died of a stroke, confirm these observations. Further, our early functional studies on the animal model also confirm that the change in the location of this channel results in a change of blood flow. So thus, the aim of our work is to determine the distribution and function of these specific channels that control blood flow in normal blood vessels and brain function and how this might be changed in stroke. Our long-term aim is to specifically control the activity of these channels and to selectively control blood flow to the damaged brain. Overall, our long-term goal is to identify new methods to control blood flow and brain injury. This award from funding from the, of funding from the Brain Foundation will allow us to work out the details of these communication pathways and to decide which approach is the most feasible to activate this normal, novel communication pathway. The financial support from the Brain Foundation is thus essential seed funding to bring our work forward to the level required to expand these trials in animal models and in patients. Eventually, we wish to selectively activate or control these communication sites in the arteries and, and therefore uh, control blood flow to the underlying damaged nerves in the brain, and this to hopefully improve the function of the brain after stroke. Uh, thank you.